Welcome back to Become a Modern Day Alchemist, where we explore the art of manifesting our desires basically from thin air. I'm your mentor, Hannes Dreyer, and in today's lesson, we will be discussing how to overcome limiting beliefs. Being a modern day alchemist involves the ability to transform thoughts, ideas, and concepts into physical reality without spending a dime. While this may seem like an impossible feat, it is attainable with the right skills, traits, and qualities. As we're going to delve deeper into this journey, we must understand that our beliefs are the bedrock of our reality. Our ability to manifest our desire is often limited by our beliefs, which is why it is crucial to overcome limiting beliefs if we want to become successful modern-day alchemists. Join me in this transformative lesson as we explore how to identify and overcome limiting beliefs that hinders our ability to manifest our desire. As modern-day alchemists, we must understand that our beliefs are the foundation of our reality. If you want to manifest wealth and abundance, it is essential to identify and eliminate your negative belief patterns. In previous lessons, we've discussed our beliefs are more potent than thoughts. Our beliefs determine the outcome of our lives. The rich have beliefs that work for them, while the poor have beliefs that work against them. So if you want to become wealthy, you must believe that you can. However, most limiting beliefs are stored so deep down in our unconscious mind that we don't even know it's there. This means that it can be very challenging to identify and therefore eliminate them. Now, the law of attraction gurus tell you to focus only on the positive beliefs, but we cannot ignore the negative ones. It's like driving a car with one foot on the gas and the other one on the brake. The goal is not to get rid of all the limiting beliefs. There is a use in some of them. Let me give you an example of what we mean with the limiting beliefs and that there are certain beliefs that we cannot ignore it and it's not going to disappear, whatever we do. The example that I'd like to, to give you is that we can't fly and we can't walk on water. These are what we call consensus-based limiting beliefs. But when it comes to personal limiting beliefs, that is what we need to focus on. For instance, you might believe that it is impossible to earn 10,000 a month by working just one hour a week. This limiting belief is keeping you from achieving your goal. However, there are tens of thousands of people that earn 10,000 plus a month by working less than one hour a week. And this means that the belief is only a personal, it is not a consensus-based belief. As modern-day alchemists, you must focus on your personal limiting beliefs Identify the negative belief holding you back from achieving your goals. So once you're conscious of them, now we can start working on them. But it's going to take effort and it's going to take time. Your task for today is to take your journal and then write down your negative beliefs. As they come up, simply write them down. And from now on, over the next 30 days, whenever you catch yourself with a limited belief, add it to your list. And then identify for today at least three beliefs that are holding you back from manifesting abundance and manifesting the life that you want. Once you've done that, make a list of the positive affirmations to replace your negative beliefs. Use these affirmations every day to reprogram your mind. And the trick is whenever you catch yourself with a negative belief immediately, become aware of that. And do that reprogramming by affirming a positive belief. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you gained value from this lesson? If yes, then kindly show me your support by liking, sharing, and commenting on this video. It really helps to get the word out. Also make sure to join us for our next lesson, where we will dive into another very powerful wealth manifestation technique. I want you to remember that your beliefs, your qualities, and your skills. And when I'm saying skills, I'm talking about the high-value mental skills as well as the high-value financial skills. 
These are the navigational tools that guide your destiny. So thanks for your precious time. And I'm excited to see you in the next lesson.